Okay, so this doesn't seem like the easiest questions because there's three shapes going on. There's um, no numbers in it at all and we're asked to find a formula. So the first place I'd start is working out, well, first of all, what are the formulas we'll need? Well, let's have a look. So we've got a hemisphere. And some of these formulas you will be given. So a hemisphere is um, a volume of a sphere and then halved. So instead of 4 over 3, I can just say 2 over 3, which is half of 4 over 3, pi r cubed. The uh, cone that we've got is going to be 1 third pi r squared h. And then the cylinder we have is the um, area of the circle times the height. Okay, now we need to find out what the bits are. So for the hemisphere, we just need r. Well, that's quite simple because r is just going to be x. It's the radius of the hemisphere. Okay, now what's more difficult is to work out the height of the cone. Well, if the radius across to the right is x, the radius of the circle up is also going to be x. So we know the height of the um, cone is going to be 4x because one of those x's is used on the hemisphere. We know the radius of the cone is going to be x because it's stated at the top. So let's keep going. The radius of the cylinder is going to be 10x and the height is just labeled as h. So that's nice and simple. Okay, now let's have a look at what this question's saying. It's saying that this thing here is going to be melted down and is going to be used to create this. So that's just saying that the volumes are going to be the same. So if I add the volume of the hemisphere to the volume of the cone, it should equal the volume of the cylinder. Okay, so we know that hemisphere plus the cone volume, and I should write volume here, show the examiner that I'm working with volumes, equals the volume of, I don't know why I wrote an S, my goodness, C for cylinder, wow, tell my maths teacher, right, cylinder, there we go. So hemisphere is um, two thirds pi, and we said that x was the radius, so x cubed, brilliant. So plus the cone, now what did we say the height of the cone was? We said the height of the cone was four x. So it's gonna be one third pi x squared, because the radius is x, and is it 4x? Let's double check that. Always double check. Yeah, it is. Okay. So the cylinder, and I'm going to leave that up so I can see it, is pi, and what's the r? So pi times 10x squared, and all of that squared, because all of that is r, times the height, so times h. Okay, so this is the formula we've got to work with. I'll put my lines down. Okay, so what have we got? Let's let's sort out the times this first and let's tidy this up. So that hasn't got any times as in it. This we're timesing it by four. So it's going to be four thirds pi and I'm timesing it by x, so it's gonna be x cubed. This one, I'm doing the 10x squared, so I need to square the 10 and the x, so it's going to be 100, and let's do the pi next, pi, and it's going to be x squared h. Okay, now if you notice on the left hand side, these two here are the same, they're both pi x cubed, so we can just add them together. So it's going to be 2 thirds plus 4 thirds. So that's going to be 6 thirds 
or just two. So it's gonna be two pi x cubed equals 100 pi x squared h. Brilliant, okay. Now let's just check to see what it wants. It wants a formula of h in terms of x. So it wants h equals, okay. So first thing I need to do, well, let's have a look. What's easy to do? Well, what's easy to do is just divide both sides by pi. Let's get rid of the pi's. So 2x cubed equals 100 x squared h. Now we want h on its own, so we're getting close. We need to divide by the x squared first to get x, to get h on its own. So I divide by x squared, so we get 2x equals 100 h. So we can already see we're really close. So to get h on its own, we need to divide both sides by 100. And that's going to be 2x over 100 equals h, or h equals, and we can cancel the 2 and the 100. We can divide them both um, by 2, equals x over 50. So our answer is h equals x over 50.